This presentation is brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Eldridge, Iowa. Today's demonstration is between the older, more traditional method of insulating RVs utilizing the fiberglass insulation versus the much preferred vacuum bonded styrofoam insulation such as used, as you can see here, on the wall structures of a surveyor travel trailer. Now back over to the fiberglass insulation where you can see that the fiberglass after a little bit of usage and bouncing around it will form some gaps areas where the insulation is not doing its job it can absorb water and moisture it shrinks and compresses you're losing your R value then and as a result you're going to wind up with an R value of approximately R3 whereas you do not have that happening with the nature of a vacuum bonded foam insulation which repels water and adds strength and durability does not shrink or compress and retains an R value of approximately R8 now as you can see the gaps form and the lower R value for, uh, would uh, be a result on the fiberglass insulation uh, you're going to also notice it'll absorb moisture retain moisture you know what that's going to mean it's going to mean eventual rot could mean mold mildew smells you're not going to have that with a surveyor wall where it's going to be vacuum bonded now this vacuum bonded structure also adds in, uh, structural integrity to the unit which you're not going to find merely with fiberglass insulation it's vacuum bonded to every square inch of the interior and exterior wall adding a great deal of durability and strength to that wall you do not get that with fiberglass insulation as one example which surveyor will show you they use the surveyor wall here with a great deg uh, degree of weight added to it whereas when you use a traditional wall without that in additional integrity to it it's going to tend to bow another feature of the surveyor uh, units would be the frame structure which is used. It's a framed structure throughout the entire wall, not just around the outside of it. This means that you have durability and strength around windows, door openings, vent openings, hatches, covers, etc. Whereas you do not have that with many of the competition models which do not incorporate a complete framed in wall structure. This completes our demonstration of differences between traditional fiberglass insulated units and the stronger, much preferred insulation method of vacuum bonded foam walls as found on the much superior surveyor models of trailers. This presentation was again brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center, Eldridge, Iowa.